I didn't draw it. It's a uh, animation. It's cute. Oh, thanks. I can thank you to say thank you to my husband for that one. <laughs> thanks. And hello everyone. Hello Emerson and Vladimir. Welcome. Thanks guys. Thanks for coming. <laughs> All right. So we are talking about adjectives. <laughs> adjectives. And we talked about how many. What is my opinion? What do I think about it? And now the size. So big, small, tall, short. And we'll keep coming back to size. But first, let's talk about age. So I put age and weather together because in English, when we use an adjective, we have an order that we put them in. They go in an order. So first, we say how many. Second, we say our opinion. Third, we talk about the size. And fourth, we talk about the age and the weather. So let's talk about the pencil first, right? I can say, this is a pencil. No adjective. This is an old pencil. <laughs> this is a young pencil? No. So young is only about people or animals or plants. Young is for something that lives. Um, but I can say this is a new pencil. New pencil. And ancient. Does anyone know this word? What does that mean? Ancient. This is an ancient pencil. Does anyone know this word? What does that mean? Ancient. This is an ancient pencil. It's not. Ancient means very old. Very old. So Vladimir says about the number and quantity. Is there a case when these words are equal? or when we can't change number to quantity? Well, usually, great question, usually we use one or the other. We use number or quantity. So let's talk about the pencils. Like, this is one pencil. These are three pencils. Um, I could say, I see these three pencils. I see these three pencils. So always, always, we just want to start by saying how many. Um, is there a case when these words are equal? We can't change the number to quantity. No, usually we can change. I can say, these. there are a lot a lot of pencils, right? A lot of pencils. And usually, this is however you want to say. Um, sometimes there are so many, we cannot count them. So then we cannot use a number. We can just say, there are so many pencils. Or um, I can say, there are thousands of pencils. Yeah, so the number or quantity is just is just how you want to talk about it. And we can use a number or quantity. Either one. Um, sometimes it, do, it does not matter how many pencils I have. I just have a lot of pencils. So here another thing we can say is a lot. Right? A lot a little, many, many. Yeah, so if we are, if we are guessing, like, I don't want to count, I can say a few, good, a few, a few. So it just depends on what is important. Is it important to know the number or not important? A big number of pencils? Yeah. So a big number 
in English, we would say would we would say a lot, a lot of pencils. A big number would be a lot of pencils or a large amount of pencils. Yeah. Big number. Yeah, a lot of a big number of pencils is OK. Um, but usually we would we won't say a big number. We'll say um, a, a lot, a lot of. Yeah, good question. And yeah, we talked about countable and uncountable nouns um, maybe two weeks ago. I don't know if that video is still up, but we can talk about that again. Um, now you guys are here, we can talk about that again. Countable and uncountable nouns. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so we can we can do another class on that. Good. Great question. And thank you for following. Welcome. Yeah, a lot. A lot. We can say a lot of water, right? Water is uncountable. We cannot count water. One, two, three waters. No. A lot of water. And we can say a lot of pencils. A lot of pencils. So a lot, that is a good one to know. A lot of pencils. Now, many, <clears throat> this word, many, we can only use many for things we can count. So I cannot say many waters um, because I cannot count water. But I can say many pencils because I can count the pencils. How many? Many. All right, astronaut. When we can count it, we have to use number. And if we can't count, we use quantity. Okay, so when we can count it, we use number. If we cannot count it, sugar, we use quantity. Um, so quantity, the word quantity just means how many or how much. Um, so you're right. If we can count it, we can use number, but we don't have to use number. So for example, I have a cup of water, right? I cannot count water. Uh, it is uncountable. So I have a cup of water, right? Now, I also have a cup of pens and pencils, right? A cup of pens and pencils. I can also say that. Um, so it's okay in both cases, a cup of. Um, so if something is countable, you don't have to use the number because sometimes I cannot count or I don't want to count. I don't want to count these pencils. Or let's say, for example, I have a pile of leaves, right? a pile of leaves. Now, I can count leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten leaves. But do I want to count these leaves? No. <laughs> I do not want to count them. So I will just say a pile of leaves. A lot of leaves, many leaves, and that's okay too. Good, good question. Yeah, so if we can count, we don't have to count, but we can. Good, good question. All right, let me know if you have another. A large amount of leaves, perfect. You can say that too. Yes, excellent. Great. And if you guys want to, we can talk about 
Um, awesome. Very good. Uh, uh, we can talk about uncountable and countable nouns some more because that is, it is tricky. It's a little hard. So very good question. All right. Quantity. Opinion. How do I like it? I like it. I don't like it. Um, here we go. Age and weather. So old, young, new, ancient means very, very, very old. So I can show you ancient. Let's just search ancient and see what comes up. Ancient. Ooh, here we go. This is an ancient building, right? The Parthenon, I think. 